What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my video. I'm Josh Brella, and you're watching my podcast. So today, like I told you, we were going to go, we're talking about the Buffalo Sabres. So he got traded to Las Vegas, and for the Buffalo, Buffalo Sabres got Alex Tuck and Peyton Krebs. Even though Jack Eichel has been the Buffalo Sabres superstar for the past six years, there was no secret he, last year he was going to get traded. And on November 23rd, he got traded to a... And the Buffalo Sabres are exploding. There's no secret about that. They're just absolutely exploding. And their top line, even though they trade... And Thompson has been exploding. He has never been this good. He got traded from St. Louis to Buffalo for Ryan O'Reilly, which is now their captain. He's never played this good ever. This is his best season ever. He is a... He is... Let's see. Let me think. 6-2. He's a center. He's play, He usually plays right wing. He is right by... Jeff Skinner and Kyle Pozo. So, this is how it's going to go. This is honestly crazy. So, let's get to it. So, this year, their first overall pick, they got on power. And seven picks later, or actually eight, they got Jack Quinn, who is playing in the AHL. The reason why... Owen Power hasn't been playing that much is because he was still playing in Michigan for the Wolverines, and that's pretty good. I think he won. I don't know. I think they, he had a good season. And I'm a Buffalo Sabres fan. I'm literally going to go get my jersey, and I will be right back. And this is my jersey. Uh, number 26, Rasmus Dahlin, the Buffalo Sabres, the Royal Blue, with the stripes on the bottom. See? Rasmus Dahlin! Uh, so, yeah. I'm just going to wait for the rest of the video. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to hate my stupid chair. So, let's get back to the video. So, Alex Tuck, he was born in Syracuse, New York. He absolutely loved the Buffalo Sabres. And he was so excited that in his th- in his interview in his interview that he just started naming players. It was ridiculous. And for the goalie situation, the reason why they, I'm pretty sure they did not have a playoff spot. It, I was mad that they didn't have a playoff spot. Is no, their goalie is injured. They had to trade away some good players to get Subban. And like it started off, Anderson got hurt. Tokarski came. Got hurt. UPL still hurt. So, Ban, I think he's fine now, but he's just not playing. Because, one, there's no more games left. And even though it's Saban in the last game, he had a beautiful voice. Beautiful voice in for the National Anthem. You know, that? what was I saying? 32, 39, and 11. It's not bad. They haven't got 30 wins in seven years. And it finally happened. And instead of them stopping at 30 wins, they decided to go more. They're st- they were number one in the league in the first four games because they went 4 0 and then they started losing due to injuries. Because what was it? They beat Pittsburgh. That was all, that was the last game. I was telling a Buffalo Wild Wings watching that game. So, yeah. Um. Let's see. Who else did they get? I can't think of anyone else who they got, really. So, yeah. I'm trying to think. And how Jack Eichel has been doing, honestly, I'm going to be honest, he's been playing like crap. C-R-A-P. Crap. There's no secret of him being good. Nothing. And honestly, they're in the Atlantic Division, and they placed f- fourth. Uh, not bad. I'm not gonna say they're not. La- they weren't. They were 24th. On paper, they look like crap. But once you look at that team chemistry, they're doing pretty well. They've been doing better than I have in years. You may ask me if I do this every day. Was it not so, baby? Touching the wave on the wall. Don't judge me right now. I'm wearing baseball pants. Uh, because I had baseball. So, yeah. Okay. 
and everything else that they've been doing, I think they've been doing pretty well. It's just their only problem is their injuries between the pipe. Saban, he's been playing awesome. Because I remember that game on ESPN when he just, he, I looked like he dislocated his shoulder. And then he just redirected it and it went past and it hit the pipe and it just dinged, right? It was awesome. I can't lie. Anything else I think they could do better is, I think, the coach, his full, first full season, I think he has been putting this team better. Tage Thompson, I think he's been playing better than he ever has. Tuck, pretty well. Darlene, pretty well. And, like, I remember when they played, when they, I was at that game, when they were Buffalo against Las Vegas, I honestly thought it was amazing that both the teams that were in the Eichel trade scored. Except Eichel did not play. He messed up to cause Alex Tuck to score. That was funny. And all everything else I'm going to say is I'm going to put... I might just put a picture of... Alex Tuck and Peyton Karebs. And that's going to be all for me. And I'm just going to say... Adios. Or not. I do this every episode.